مرحبان يا مرحبان يا مرحبان يا مرحبان يا مرحبان للأنبياء مرحبان يا مرحبان يا مرحبان يا مرحبان يا مرحبان يا مرحبان يا مرحبان للأولياء لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد يا ربي صلي الله ولي الله ولي نعم الولي صلوا على هذا النبي محمد الله ولي الله ولي نعم الولي صلوا على هذا النبي محمد اه يا ربي القلب سحر المولد كل الأنام بذكر مولد أحمد جاءت لمولده الشريف بشائر وخوارق الأداة ليلة موئد الله ولي نعم الولي صلوا على هذا النبي محمد آياته والمعجزات كثيرة شهدت بسيحتها أقول الهسد البدر شق بأمره والشمس إيف غربت له رودت بغير تردد الله ولي الله ولي نعم الولي صلوا على هذا النبي محمد والوهش والأشجار قد سجدت له وعليه قد سلمنا بعد تشاهد ومن اليسير سقى وعت أما جيشه هت اكتفى ويسيره لم ينفذ الله ولي الله ولي نعم الولي صلوا على هذا النبي محمد وله الوسيلة والفضيلة والعلا ومقامه المهمود يوم الموعد أوصافه ما ينتهي تعدادها فالمده يكسر أن بلوغ المقصد الله ولي نعم الولي صلوا على هذا النبي محمد يا سيد السادات جئتك قاسدا أرجو هماك فلا تخيب مقصدي قل هل بما قد ألمت من العذاب وظلمي وضعفي الشديد فأسئدي الله ولي ولي نعم الولي صلوا على هذا النبي محمد ما لي سواه بي لديك وسيلة 
فمن علي بفضل جودك أسعدي إني نزيلك والنزيل لديك يا خير الأنام بكل خير يختدي الله ولي نعم الولي صلوا على هذا النبي محمد فعليك منا كل وقت دائما أسكى صلاة مع السلام سرمدي وعلى صحابتك الكرام جميعهم وتابعين لهم بخير فاجهدي الله ولي الله ولي نعم الولي صلوا على هذا النبي محمد صلى الله على محمد صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد يا ربي صلي وسلم اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى اله الحمد لله we've come to the end of the maulid we'll be reciting the dua insha'allah when we pause inshallah whatever your hajar is mentioned and we hope that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would grant us our duas inshallah amin 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 ya rabbal alamin bismillahir rahmanir rahim allahumma salli ala sayidina muhammad wa ala ali sayidina muhammad صلاة تنجينا بها من جميع الأحوال والبليات وتسلمنا بها من جميع الأسقام والآفات وتطهرنا بها من جميع السيئات وتغفر لنا بها جميع الخاطئات وتغذي لنا بها جميع الحاجات وترفعنا بها عندك على الدرجات وتبلغنا بها أقصى الغايات من جميع الخيرات في الحياة والبعد الممات إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم إننا نتوسل إليك باسمك العظيم اللهم إننا نتوسل إليك باسمك العظيم اللهم إننا نتوسل إليك باسمك العظيم وبجاه نبيك الكريم وبجاه نبيك الكريم وبجاه نبيك الكريم ووليك العظيم ووليك العظيم ووليك العظيم أن تكفر أن الذنوب وترستر العيوب وتهسن الأخلاق وتهسن الأخلاق وتهسن الأخلاق وتوسع الأرزاق يا رب العالمين وتشفي العسقوم وتعف في الآمة وأن تدفع أن وأن أحل البلدين وأن وأن أحل البلدين وأن تدفع أن وأن أحل بلدين وبيتنا هذا ثم الناقئة وداء القامئة والوباء القاطئة والوباء القاطئة والوباء القاطئة إنك مجيب سميع دعاء برحمتك يا راهمين وأن تصرف أن نطعون والبلاء وأن تصرف أن نطعون والبلاء وأن تصرف أن نطعون والبلاء وتعصمنا من إنزال الكحر والوباء وتن وتعصمنا من إنزال كحر والوباء وتعصمنا من إنزال كحر والوباء وتنتجي بي وتهتجي بي 
tahtajibana binurika min syarri aduwina wa min syarri ma'lun wa min syarri wabai wa ta'un wa min syarri wabai wa ta'un wa min syarri wabai wa ta'un Allahumma la tuakhithna bisu'il afla'ina wa la tulhikna bi khatayana Allahumma inna nas'aluka an tu'adhibna min adhabil qabri Allahumma inna nas'aluka an tu'adhibna min adhabil qabri Allahumma inna nas'aluka an tu'adhibna min adhabil qabri wa tu'minana min faza'il akbar wa tunjina angdaril bawaril wa tuskinana firdawsi min raddil karar Whatever your hajar is, bismillah. بحق سيدنا محمد وآله أبرار بحق سيدنا محمد وآله أبرار بحق سيدنا محمد وآله أبرار وأصحابه أخيار آمين 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 برحمتك يا أرحم الراهمين اللهم ارحم تضر عنا وآمن خوفنا وتقبل أعمالنا وأصل أحوالنا واجعل بتعات غشتغالنا وإلى الخير ما لنا وحك بزيادة آمالنا واختم بسعادة آجلنا هذا ذنا ظاحر بين يديك وحلحنا لا يخفى عليك أمرتنا فارتكبنا ونحيتنا فارتكبنا ولا يسؤل إلا أفؤك فأفؤ أنا يا خير المعمول وعكرم المسؤول إنك عفو كريم ورعوف رحيم يا أرهام راهمين يا أرهام راهمين يا أرهام راهمين فرج على المسلمين يا أرهام راهمين يا أرهام راهمين يا أرهام راهمين فرج على المسلمين يا صلى الله على سيدنا مولانا محمد النبي الكريم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على Muhammad ya Rabbi salli wa sallim Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alayhi wa ala ali Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Assalatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wa mursalin Sayyidina wa maulana Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in 
subhanaka subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma 'allamtana innaka antal alimul hakim my beloved seekers beloved elders and teachers assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh alhamdulillah our gratitude to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for having gathered us here tonight on this very blessed evening in the most blessed month out of all of the 12 months of our lives this is the most blessed month why this is the month that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has been physically appeared onto this earth and how fortunate are we that we are able to be the ummah that the ummah that even prophets are asking to be part of sayyidina musa alayhi salam prayed ya allah allow me to be part of the ummah of the final messenger he did not get that his dua granted nabi allah daniel nabi allah daud all of them asked to be the ummah of sayyidina muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam al quran and allah has mentioned that you are the best of ummah kuntum khayra ummah ukhrijat lin nas you are the best of ummah why because we are an extension of the greatness that has been brought by sayyidina muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we are not best we are not great because of our deeds but we are great because we are under the holy prophet sayyidina rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam if we think about it my brothers and sisters if we were to compare our deeds with the ummah of nabi allah musa with the ummah of nabi allah isa with the ummah of nabi allah no with the ummah of nabi allah daud our our ibadah does not come close in fact this has been mentioned in isra wal miraj by sayyidina musa alayhi salam when he met our holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam ya muhammad your ummah is not able to take 50 times daily prayer ya muhammad and then the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam went back again this went back and forth for 10 times until sayyidina rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam received five times daily prayer and then sayyidina musa said ya muhammad even that your ummah is not able to take it why because his ummah worship and yet our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says i now feel ashamed to be asking allah for more discount there's a beauty in this incident one might, might one might be questioning does allah doesn't allah know that we cannot take 50 times daily prayer why must he reveal to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam 50 times doesn't allah know allah is all knowing because he created us when why must allah make prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam go up and down 10 times this is an indication that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want the prophet to be out of his presence this is an indication that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to be far away from him my brothers and sisters allah knows what we are able to carry why yet must he reveal 15 in the first instance and then make it into five times because he wishes to be qabla kausaini aw adana two both length or closer with his beloved sayyidina rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and doesn't sayyidina muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam know that his ummah cannot carry he knows he knows that his ummah is not able to carry it. and that is the reason why the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam heed the advice of sayyidina musa alaihi salam the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam heed the advice of sayyidina musa alaihi salam and then when he came back he revealed to us the five times daily prayer my brothers and sisters This is sufficient to show the ranking of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how blessed are we that we are in the best of ummah we have the best of prophet the only prophet to have who to say that he has met allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all other prophets ask for this yet our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam went back went up and he is able to come back to guide us to go up to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He has brought us the ihdina siratul mustaqim and in this ihdina siratul mustaqim there lies a secret there lies a secret why we are still safe despite our sins despite our complacency despite our shortcomings and we keep trying yet we are still safe why because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the holy quran surah uh, surah al-anfal verse 33 
بَعْدَ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُذْ لِيُؤَذِّبَهُمْ وَأَنْتَ فِيهِمْ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ يَعْنِي إِنْ اللَّهُ وُلْ نَوْتْ بَنِشْ دِمْ وَالْيُوْ مُحَمَّدْ صَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ أَمَّنْجْزْ دِمْ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى وُلْ نَوْتْ بَنِشْ أَسْ أَسْ لَوْنْ أَسْ وِيْ My brothers and sisters, who are we with right now? In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned, which I've quoted yesterday, وَعْلَمُوا أَنَّفِكُمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ Know that within you is the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Dhikrat Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, remembrance of Prophet would bring us safety. What we're doing tonight is not a test of our vocal cords. What we're doing tonight is not a test of whether I can be disciplined enough to be finishing 12 nights. What we are doing tonight is to be seeking salvation and safety. There is an incident that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned to Prophet. Ya Rasulullah, Ya Muhammad, do you want to take charge of the salvation of your ummah? I'm handing over your ummah to you. I won't have anything to do with it. You decide what you want to do with your ummah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is willing to give the whole ummah of Rasul to him. This, has, this offer was never done to any other prophet. Imagine this. Who has the authority for everything? Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yet we are questioning today, is it wrong for me to be asking Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Is it wrong for me to be asking the prophet directly? When we visit the maqam of Rasul, or we are just visiting a grave, or are we visiting Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? When Prophet has mentioned in another hadith, he says, when you enter into a home that is empty, and you give salam to me, I will reply your salam, and your home will be filled with my light. What do you think is filled in this room right now, my brothers and sisters? Is there a place that would be empty of nur when we say, As-salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah. There is no emptiness when it comes to Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because in his name means he is the one who is most praised. And that is why Allah begins Surah Alham with Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. He says, I am not only praising myself, I am praising the one that is saying my words. Allah does not want to separate himself from Prophet. Yet we are trying to be more distant from Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when we know that he is constantly making dua for us, we are questioning Uh, is it okay for me to ask, Ya Rasulullah, I have this problem. Let's finish this doubt once and for all. During the time of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there was a sahadis This hadith is narrated by Hunayf ibn, uh, Uthman ibn Hunayf, a companion uh, who saw a blind man that visited the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he says, Ya Rasulullah, pray for me to be able to receive sight Pray for me so that I can receive sight. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Would you want to pray? You want me to pray, or would you want for you to pray for yourself?" And the companion asked Rasulullah, "Which is better?" And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, "You pray for yourself. I'll teach you how to pray." What was the du'a that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has mentioned? And Allah, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, take wudu, take wudu, a good wudu, yani a wudu that is full of khushu, not just a wudu where we turn on the tap and we play with the water. La, it is a wudu that we know that we are enveloping ourselves with nur of rahmah min Allah. And then he says, do two cycles of prayer, and then recite this du'a. Allahumma inni as'aluka wa tawajjahu ilayka. Allahumma inni as'aluka wa tawajjahu ilayka. Oh Allah, I ask you and I turn myself to you. Bi nabiyika Muhammad. Bi nabiyika Muhammad. With the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If we are so bothered and we are so irritated and very, synthet, very, very clean with our tawheed, 
Why is Prophet putting himself there in this dua? Today we are going for classes. When they hear you're going for Sufi class, they say you better be careful of your Akida. Little did they know that the Sufi's Akida is Akida of love. Because love can only be felt when there is truth. Pure love is truth. So Prophet know who loves in who loves Prophet the most. Allah. There's no doubt on this. Even the Wahhabiyun, the Salafiyun, there is no doubt. No one can doubt that Allah loves Prophet the most. And then what the Prophet say? We are, oh Allah, we are asking you. وَتَوَسَّلْ إِنِّي أَسْأَلُكَ أَسْأَلْ سُؤَلْ We are asking. Eh? وَتَوَجَّهُ And we turn ourselves to you. إِلَيْكَ بِنَبِيِّكَ With your Prophet. نَبِيُّ الرَّحْمَةِ Your Prophet of mercy. Who is also known as Ar-Rahmah? Allah. بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَانِ Why would Allah, if he doesn't love Prophet, why would he give Prophet his name? لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عَنِدْتُمْ حَرِيثٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ الرَّعُوفُ الرَّحِيمُ فَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْا فَكُلْ حَزْبِيَ اللَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ عَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ وَهُوَ رَبُّ الْعَرْشِ الْعَظِيمُ Can we know how to surrender if we have not learned, we cannot see how Prophet has surrendered to Allah, it is not possible. How does Prophet surrender to the one that is unknown, that cannot be seen? Because he is left. In this dua, the Prophet is teaching the Sahaba, surrender to Allah, to the one that Allah loves most. Through the one that Allah loves most, the Prophet of Rahmah. And then the dua continues. Ya Muhammad. The dua continues with Ya Muhammad. What kind of dua is this? Why is Prophet putting his name there? Shouldn't we be asking Allah directly? Ask lah. Ask the PM directly. Ask the President directly. Ask everybody. Can we do that? No. Mustahil. So but Prophet say, you ask me. Ya Muhammad, inni atawajjahu bika illa rabbi fi hajati. I ask you, Ya Muhammad, with this hajat. Who are we asking right now? Number one in this dua, the Prophet is teaching us tawassul. What is tawassul? The very word that brings irritation to some people, it means intercession. It means intercession, tawassul. I seek intercession through Holy Prophet. Allahumma inni as'aluka wa tawajjahu ilayka bin nabiyyika rahmah. That means I ask you, O oh Allah, with the blessings of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hadha tawassul. And all of our madhab imam says that this is permissible. So what we're doing today after dua, when I ask you to keep quiet, make your own duas, we are actually seeking tawa, tawassul. We are asking, Ya Allah, with all of the salawat that we have recited, with all of the Quran that we have recited, with all of the blessings of your Rasul, I am asking you, O oh Allah, to accept my du'as and my plea to you. And to accept me as one of the ummah of Rasul that you will be contented with. And then, that is tawah, tawasul. Number two, the Prophet is teaching us istighafa. Ya ini ya Muhammad. This is no longer addressing Allah. Who are we addressing? Prophet. Directly. Ya Muhammad. How? This is known as istighatha. So, ulama has allowed this. So if you go to the maqam of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and you say, Ya Rasulullah, I have this problem, I have this problem, I have this problem. Sufficient, khalas, go back, enough. Some of our teachers have taught us that if you want your du'as to be accepted at the maqam of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, go and visit the maqam of Sayyidina Hamza, his beloved uncle. Go there and tell Sayyidina Hamza, Ya yeah, Sayyidina Hamza, I have this problem, this problem, this thing, this thing, and then leave. And then go and visit the maqam of Holy Prophet and say, Ya Rasulullah, 
I have told your beloved uncle. And they said your doa would be mustajab, insha'Allah. Why? Because the Prophet loves Sayyidina Hamza, radiallahu anhu. Why are our scholars teaching us this? Because this is istighatha. These are the people that have been given a special access and grant. We are not, we know when we ask these scholars have said that we should be asking. When we ask these, we know that it is Allah who grants. We ask them. But who grants? Allah. Plus. Because there's no other power except for who? It's just like us. When we are children, we want milk, we ask who? We don't go and take ourselves, right? We don't go out with our diapers and we make our own milk. Do we do that? No, we ask our mothers. Why is that permissible? If we are so strong, why don't we make our own milk when we were young? Same like when we go to the doctors. That these are all the asbab. So my brothers and sisters, we live tonight. We stay up tonight. I was not able to sleep till about 2 or 3 a.m. yesterday. I don't know why. Maybe I was just too excited. And we all should be for the next 12 nights. Every night we should be staying up. Take out all of your books of Salawat. Take out all of your books of the Prophet Wasallam. Put it out and say, Ya Rasulullah, if I don't see you in these next 12 nights, what worthy am I to be called your Ummah? Allow me to visit you, to see you, Ya Rasulullah. Through the eyes of our teachers, with the blessings of our teachers. So now we're doing what? Tawa? Tawassul. This is what we should be doing these next 12 nights. We have been granted this in the midst of COVID. We have been granted to do maulid in a jama'ah. How fortunate are we? Who do you think gave this granting? This is the yakin we have because no one can call out his name that easily unless he has moved your heart to call out his name. He is the reason for everything. If it is not for you, if it is not for you, we would not have created anything, Ya Rasulullah. If he is a spark of love for the Prophet in your heart, means the Prophet وسلم, is calling you. Ya Muhsin, come! Muhsin, come! He's calling to each and every one of you. We should be saying, Labbaika ya Rasulullah! Labbaika ya Rasulullah! Labbaika ya Rasulullah! If we're not saying this in the next 12 nights, then we have been giving Labbaika ya dunya. We've been saying labbaik o dunya, labbaik o dunya. We are labbaik o dunya, and then we drown ourselves in the in the what the darkness of dunya. Yet the Prophet وسلم, will still save us in the day of judgment. Why? Because when we go to Nabi Allah Adam alayhi salam, this hadith is sahih, and Sayyidina Adam says, "I am not able to help you." I am not able to help you, nafsi, nafsi. You're all on your own because of the sin that I have done. Then we'll go to Nabi Allah, no. And Nabi Allah, no, says, no, I cannot help you because I've prayed for the flood. And then we go to Nabi Allah, Ibrahim. Sayyidina Ibrahim says, no, I also can't help you. We go to each and every prophet until we meet Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. And Sayyidina Isa says, in this, we no one, no prophets can help you except for the one that is over there. Who is that? Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he will say, Ana laha, ana laha, ana laha. I am the one that can help you. I am the one that can help you. If tawassul and istighatha is not allowed, why then is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam speaking about this in the day of judgment in front of Allah? When the Prophet could have said, ask Allah directly. Uh, the Prophet could have said that and Allah would not have allowed this to happen. Yet Allah wants all of us to go and get shafa'a from Holy Prophet If we can do that in the hereafter, what makes you think you cannot do it today? My brothers and sisters, enough of the doubts that we have that comes from the shadow of people who doubt prophethood. 
For there is no doubt in Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There should not be even an atom or an iota of doubt on Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahbi wasallam. Imam Al-Ghazali said that the cure to his heart was that he was able to have clarity in prophethood. He took it took him ten years to write Ihya, and the mother. The 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 main nur of Ihya lies in the chapter of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There are forty chapters in Ihya al-Mudin, and the most important one that brought balance to all of the forty chapters is the chapter on Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And the Imam al-Ghazali says, "This is Imam al-Ghazali. How great of a scholar is he?" And he says, "Because of prophethood, I have able to cure my heart." Don't take ten years. Imam Al Ghazali has done that for us. Use these next twelve nights to cure yourself from the pains of dunya that lies in our hearts. If there is a moment in your heart that doubts Maulid, do tawbah. Because Shaitan doesn't want you to be close to Prophet. He knows your success lies in your closeness with Holy Prophet. Sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. That is why he is casting so much doubts on the Muslims, on the Prophet that would bring a shafaha. So, as people of Ahl al-Dhikr, we should not have any doubts on Holy Prophet. Sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah. So you can uh, Google that hadith. Eh? I put it in my small booklet before on Sunnah prayers. Uh, but it's a very mashhur hadith. It's a very famous hadith, and ulama have used that hadith for tawassul wa istighatha. I had the dalil for that. I hope this small uh, tafsira would have brought some direction in prophethood for our lives to receive nur in Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And I hope that this majlis will bring barakah not only for ourselves but also for the whole of the country, insha Allah. And wherever people are facing illness. And because of ta'un wa bala, may Allah eradicate all of this. For we know from a hadith that ta'un comes from shaitan. This comes from a hadith. I'm not saying this. This is not a conspiracy theory. So be firm with your faith, and insha Allah, it will help us. And also full, uh, follow the rule of the country. Ati Allah wa uli amri minkum. Follow whatever the health things is. Follow. Eh, so that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will also protect us in any way. He will have already protected us because if we say we love Rasul, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Amin, Amin, Ya Rabbal Alamin.